Good morning. <laughs> it is farm 24 today. So I'm going to show you guys what a, a Thursday is like for us on a tomato farm. So my first job of the day is to get the mat sanitized because we don't want any virus entering the greenhouses. So the object is to fill these mats with this solution which is Menoflores and it's going to protect against um, a very nasty virus called tomato brown rugos. So what we do is we fill it up and then anyone who comes in has to walk over it and sanitize their hands. Anyone has to drive over that. So technically we should be clean, <laughs> I think. <laughs> And the best thing about this is it's possible, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Tell me where I need to go when I'm there. <laughs> so every day for me starts the same. I have to fill up these mats and then I go for a quick walk around, check on all the greenhouses and all the staff, make sure they're all happy and nothing's gone wrong overnight. Once I've done my mats and then I've checked the staff in the greenhouses, my next job of the day today, because it's pick day, is to see what crates we've got left we set up last night for picking today so i've got to see what's left because obviously we need them for next week uh, so this bad boy is our steamer and it's full and i've we need to steam we need to get them clean so then we've got stuff to set up with friday evening ready for monday pick so i'm gonna turn the steamer on if you been on my channel before you probably know that we have to steam everything on site just to kill any virus or like there's any bugs or other food residue left on the crate so this is a boiler a water boiler steam boiler it's not water i don't know what it is but control panel's on it's loaded it's locked there's nothing in there so i just have to wait and see if it trips out it has a habit of tripping out so i just stay here for like two minutes see if it trips and then we leave it over 95 degrees for half an hour should kill everything so it'll be about three and a half four hours until it's all steamed and clean and then we can release them into the farm so the truck has arrived and i'm loaded up so we always try and make it an even number when loading the truck so that we can uh strap them in so they don't go anywhere so this is kind of what we do So we have loaded the truck, strapping them in <laughs> to his face. And then I just have to sanitize my pump truck because we don't know what germs are in there. <laughs> oh my god, it's raining it's so hard. I'm absolutely soaked. There we go. So, pulled out what we have on the new site, which so far is only four pallets, not a lot. Uh, we've weighed off and put some tickets on, ready for the truck, which comes on Saturday. So this is what the, this is what the note looks like. Okay. So every pallet that comes out of the greenhouse has to be weighed. Um, we put down who it's from, uh, just for our own record, but then this is what we include on this ticket. So we have the variety, the date it was harvested, the greenhouse it's come from. So in this house, we split it into 10 and 11. Then the delivery date, number of crates. I've just realized that it's picking it up tomorrow. <laughs> Oops. Uh, number of crates, uh, your gross weight and your net weight. And then Christopher does a packing sheet for everything once we've got a full truck's worth, but these will be taken over to the fridge as soon as we can, really. And this is what we're looking like, Piccolo. And then we've got Zylora. So my next job is to unload the steamer. We, we steam them because we don't want any viruses coming into the greenhouse. So you just don't know where they've been because they've been in the, the food chain. They could have had meat in them. They could have had other tomatoes in them. They could have had literally anything. They could have been anywhere. So, because they're going into the glass houses, into the crop where we 
definitely clean them, sanitise them. They've come from a wash plant. We then steam them, so two levels of protection, you know, touch wood. So this is finished. I'm going to unload it, split it between the old site and the new site over there, sort of 50-50 split. And then we've got enough crates for the next week then. So we have another, the truck is actually not coming on Saturday, it's coming tomorrow now, which is Friday, Friday's tomorrow. So we need to get all the fruit in here today pretty much, or if they're not quite finished, first thing in the morning, this fridge needs to be full, ready, and the label made. So it's kind of up in the air, but there's a bit of spraying to do this weekend, and the guys, everybody's cleaning the big greenhouse, so there's a bit of hoovering tomorrow. So it's kind of today, this afternoon now will be, Unloading my bits, getting as much in here as possible, and then getting the jobs ready for tomorrow. has consisted of moving through from out of the greenhouses and unloading the steamer so we've just got to go and put the new site's crates over on the new site and then we're uptown really um, not a heavy pick so there's not a lot of fruit luckily we got we had a truck coming today from Monday's pick over spill so we managed to squeeze a few of today's tomatoes on the truck today. So talk about field to fork, um, it'll be at the pack house today. So pick today, pack house today. You can't get better than that. <laughs>